CSIR NET exam, also popularly known as the mother of all entrance exams due to its vast syllabus, difficulty level, and of course, cutthroat competition. This exam offers great advantages if you qualify, if you succeed. Though qualifying it is a tough nut to crack, it's very difficult. But today, what if I tell you that with proper planning, the right strategy with proper strategy and a set of do's and don'ts, you can qualify for this exam with the highest possible marks, highest possible score. Yes, you heard it right. We can tame this exam with a set of rules. We can succeed in this exam with a set of do's and don'ts if we fulfill, fulfill the success parameters. Hello everyone, this is Shekhar Suman, CEO and Managing Director at Biotechnica and Rasainika. And today, as I come to you in this video, we are going to discuss the top 10 mistakes students make while managing the CSIR NET Life Sciences Syllabus. Let's get started. Mistake number one, trying to cover the entire syllabus. Now, this is the biggest mistake students commit. And in fact, every and almost every student does that. Now, why do you do that? Because you're trained for the past several years to write university exam. You may feel that it's a good strategy. Let's cover the syllabus. When whatever question comes, we'll be able to solve it. Now, this is a mistake where you are comparing university exam with a CSI net exam. The syllabus of CSI net exam is equal to pursuing three to four MSc exam together. It's like doing MSc botany, zoology, biochemistry, cell biology, uh, molecular biology, and whatnot, genetics, all of them together. So never commit that mistake. Now, you understand that what I'm talking about, you have to Segregate, you have to understand that you cannot cover the entire syllabus. You cannot be the jack of all trades. Just focus on top seven units, master them. And then slowly inch towards the next, maybe two other units, make it nine units. That's a comfortable number to sit in CSIR net. Okay. Now you'll ask me, which are those seven units? So what I've done is in the video description, I have given you a link. Now that link has got unit wise weightage as well as importance and also the standard book links are there. So go and check it out and decide which seven units you are good at and cover them. That's it. Mistake number two, not having a hard copy of the syllabus. Now this is a very silly mistake, but the problem is tracking the syllabus is an integral part of any exam preparation. And when CSIR has a vast syllabus, it obviously means your preparation becomes even more difficult. So preparation sh progress should be monitored on a daily basis. So take a printout of the syllabus on a bond paper so that it lasts with you till, your, till the end of your preparation and scribble on it, highlight. Whenever you finish a topic, tick that off, subtopics tick that off or whenever you revise, mark that off. That's very important. Mistake number three not planning your days and months according to the syllabus. Now, again, this is a common problem among aspirants. You have to be organized from day one. You end up studying this exam just like any other exam. That's not how you can crack it. It's like trying to drive a plane instead of trying to fly a plane. Understood? You're supposed to fly the plane, not drive the plane. The result is your preparation never takes off you end up still studying fourth unit while the exam is just two weeks away. So here is what you can do. You need to decide which units you will study first. Okay, which units you will study in which months and divide your days to cover the subtopics of that particular unit. Be organized from day one. And now to make this easier, we at Biotechnica, we are giving away a free download of CSIR Net Life Science Study Planner. The link is given in the description. Check out after watching this video. Download it, take a printout, that should help you. 
you can customize it according to your needs but definitely it will be a good starting point mistake number 4 perfectionism kills preparation now this is a bigger problem than the previous two or three pointers i gave you the issue here is in the mind now your plan is fine your strategies are fine you start feeling i'm not satisfied with my previous unit coverage it's not perfect and you start feeling that urge i should go back again and study you f- feel that let me finish this perfectly then i'll move to the next let me perfectly remember it and then only i'll move to the next this urge kills you and you never proceed ahead you instead you keep reading the previous unit again and and again now remember you already have a plan and you have to stick to it you got to stick to it anyways you will revise this particular unit again so it's there is no point in becoming perfect today when you start revising anyways you will become perfect so stick to the plan and do not focus on perfectionism that will kill you certainly it will kill your preparation mistake number 5 focusing on focusing more on memorizing from ready made notes now this is a perennial question every webinar people will come and ask me is xyz academy or abc academy notes good i'll not take the names but the problem is yes or and no also the answer is yes and no because they may be good for revision but no book can replace a standard book remember that yes we can complement a book or a, we can supplement a standard book but it's very difficult to replace a standard book and that's the reason we call them the standard books in first place so stop asking the such questions stop learning from such uh, you know books for the first time from ready made notes it will it, it will not help you the question now you can ask me sir even biotechnica provides study material for csirnet do you mean to say that we should not refer that now let me clarify here let me answer that question to you in this way the books which we provide at biotechnica is a summary of all the standard books okay but they are not a replacement of the standard books and if anybody in the market claims that they are a replacement of the standard books they are fooling you they are very good for studying for the first time but you must first always study from standard books and then revise from the summary books okay now if you are not able to understand the language of the standard books then definitely you can come to the summary books which the book study material which we provide because it has a different language a lucid language a indianized version of the standard book definitely it will help you right mistake number 6 solving last 10 year question papers without knowing why you need to solve them now if you focus more on the pattern of the questions and not understand the concepts you are going to be killed this particular strategy never works remember first you need to prioritize the concepts prioritize conceptual knowledge second you need to analyze the question pattern so first is concept then is the question pattern and find the fine prints of the question pattern now the third point is you need to practice decision making that is which questions i will solve and which ones to skip this will help you prevent neg- negative marking now additionally solving question paper should be a daily habit it should not be a once in a blue moon ritual that's a mistake never do that point number 7 don't have a proper revision plan now what is revision revision is simply a process of transferring your concepts from your temporary memory to your permanent memory that's what revision does okay first time you learn it is in the temporary memory revision helps you consolidate it in the permanent memory now you can fail it at it terribly if you do not use spaced repetition method so what we have done we have created a special video about it talking about spaced repetition kindly check the video description it is there the link is there watch it make notes understand how to do spaced repetition so that you would transfer the concepts from temporary memory to permanent memory mistake number 8 not interrelating topics while studying now during the exam preparation you study every unit as if it's a separate entity you don't correlate you don't feel that they are interrelated but the truth is 
all the units of csr net syllabus are some or the other way interconnected interrelated and all the part c questions can come that way so when you don't know how to correlate and study you fail to answer those part c questions those applicatory questions okay and those questions which involve application of concepts from more than one unit so whenever you study remember study in a interconnected interrelated way together or one after the other in a sequence what we can do here to help you is we have created done a recent kickstarter webinar you can check out the link in the description there we have de described in detail the list of interrelated units now quite a lot of questions in csir are always combined questions from these units so it's extremely important for you to be able to relate part a particular concept from one unit to the other and then only you will be able to answer better mistake number 9 doing selective study from a particular unit now do selective study from the syllabus not from the unit now since csir net exam can you cannot predict which sub topics the questions will be asked from okay so preparing for a few topics and leaving the other subtopics might be lethal okay might end up in not being you will not be able to answer questions from that particular unit or subtopic of that unit okay so what you have to do here choose your units carefully that's the first thing okay choose your units carefully and then make your make sure that you study them completely never do selective study within the unit okay that's lethal point number 10 or mistake number 10 wasting too much time in making notes for the topic now notes should be brief to the point and easy to revise easy to revise later now there is no point in wasting your entire day making notes for a particular sub topic it will not be helpful because later on when you are when you are revising it will become impossible to cover that substantial portion of the syllabus in shortest possible time so one general rule which i follow i'll give you is while making notes remember that you are making notes you are not rewriting the entire book you are making notes okay so use arrows use uh, flow charts draw flow charts use color pencils extensively but don't rewrite the book in your own language that's not notes now since you have watched this video till the end let me give you one more very important bonus point so i told you 10 mistakes i'm going to give you one more so the bonus mistake or the bonus point uh, number 11 is selecting wrong units okay now in order to clear csir net you have to prepare for 8 to 9 units suppose okay so 8 to 9 units is good enough but you should select units you know carefully prefer the ones which in which you are comfortable with and which the ones which you find interesting so what we have done is at biotechnica we have a formula which we we'll, uh, suggest to every student who enrolls in our coaching at biotechnica what we say is okay here is a list of important units now first select the short and shortlist the list of important units second shortlist the list of important units which you don't find interesting okay and the third is list of not so interesting but important units this way you would have categorized the entire syllabus into three parts the first is interesting plus important units let's call that i plus i units the second is not interesting but important units let's call them as ni units not interesting but important and the third is rest of the syllabus so you have to just cover the first two points that's all now all you need to study is i plus i units first and then cover the ni units not interesting but important units and leave the rest these are the things which you have to take care so these were the top 10 or 11 mistakes every student makes while uh, managing the csir net syllabus now that you know the pitfalls go straight to your study table take a print out of the syllabus highlight the important units select the i plus i units interesting plus important units and get started you are the pilot of your plane but before you actually go let me 
I remind you, please share your inputs in the comment section below. It will help us help other future aspirants as well to sharpen their preparation strategy. And of course, thank you so much for watching this video. All the best for your exam and uh, see you in our next video. Bye-bye.